What's up, everybody? Big Herc 916 getting down and fresh out. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, man. Let's blow this thing up. Represent and also wash your ass. Go to freshoutseries.com and pick you up a bar of soap or a t shirt or a hat or some merch. Man, I'm here with the homie Hector Bravo, uh, XCO for the California Department of Corrections. And man, we were talking and I've told or talked to you guys about this before about transgenders in women's prisons, males in women's prisons, busting cheeks. And, um, you know, this came in, came out, you know, Leanne, uh, what's the swimmer's name? Leanne Thomas or something? Leanne Thomas. Um, I believe the name was uh, bragging, you know, kind of still showing them herself off in the women's locker room, still has got the phallus, you know, had his nuts in a jar. But this, you know, taking, really, to me, taking advantage of women, you know, women is like, you know, they're losing, losing, losing foot, man, Your scholarships and records being broken, but this type of stuff, and now it's going down heavily in the, in, in the women's prison. Hector, man, you, you get it all the time. That's just from people on your IG, man. What's some of the stuff you've run across, man? Oh, man. So, yeah, just leaving, man. Freshly leaving. Uh, and it probably had to do with one, you know, wanting to leave also is, is you know, California's leading, leading the pack when it comes. Yeah, they, yeah. they want to be spearheading everything. Experimental. They want to be yeah. the ones, right? So, yeah, the prison that I came from, a lot of transgender inmates there, right? Or, or inmates that claim to be transgenders. Well, one of them, a male inmate opted for a sex uh, realignment surgery. So the, so they got to go to Beverly Hills, California. Talk. So the, they were a male in, in a file fifth in prison, was able to get this? Yes. They already have um, certain ID cards, a transgender identification card where they can have access to the uh, female canteen items like the moomoos oh the shit. so yeah you have do you have dudes or transgender inmates walking around with moomoos on the yard it's just like bras panties it's but uh God. this individual goes to just beverly hills on pa taxpayers money and gets his uh you know male part converted into a female part and the whole time this individual's bragging oh yeah i'm a salad on the yard they're already lining up. I'm going to make money. Yeah, this is going to be my, you know what, this my hustle. This is going to be my get down. Ah. So, you know, it comes back. We got to watch them. We got to watch them right there. They go straight to the health care. They go to the infirmary because uh, the, the, you got to recuperate from a surgery, any surgery. Well, apparently there was complications in the surgery. And now that individual is like talking about, I'm going to sue. You guys purposely gave me a messed up surgery. And it's just like, man, what are we doing here? God, man. So they did the surgery while in prison for having been convicted of a crime. And then this person comes back now that they got this free surgery. Now they're trying, they're going to sue because it's not what they wanted. It went bad. Because it went bad or complications or something. But like I said, the whole mindset was I'm going to sell it. I'm going to give it up to the, to the guys on the yard for money. Canteen, well, I, you know, sell it. Prostitution. All paid by taxpayers' money. Oh, man, this is crazy, man. And then you, 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 and then you were just mentioning that, like, they're not even talking about, but the amount of rapes in women's prison from male, from trans males who still got their Johnson. They got their uh, Johnson. They're in female institutions. They are uh, having sexual intercourse with the females, whether it's consensual or not consensual. It shouldn't even be happening, first of all. But yeah, rapes, um, pregnancies, you know. Uh, Where are the women's rights groups on this? <laughs> well, you got to understand what's happening. You got uh, one group, one uh, rights group over here saying, hey, you know, LGBTQ, we deserve this. And then you, now you have the women's. So now they're kind of like at odds with each other. Right. But I've always been about common sense. Like, what makes sense and what doesn't? Yeah. No, it's gotten bad, man. Some people, some of the messages I've gotten through my through my IG is that like 
they'll be like, Hector, you know, I don't have you heard that at this woman's prison, they've, they've slammed the yards. They got the officers searching the recreational yard for an aborted baby. Oh, my God. I swear to God, man. I swear what? to God. I swear to God. Oh, So you can just shit. imagine, like, what the female oh. inmate is going through. Let's say they get raped, right? They get pregnant, and now they, whatever, if they're humiliated oh, or torn apart, they, 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 they do this act. And it's, that's, oh. that's far out, man. And nobody would ever speak on that. Nobody would speak on that, man. Nobody. You, 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 have, you having that, oh, man. So, you know, like you said, whether it's consensual, and it doesn't matter, but you're in there and you still got your parts and you're talking about this, what, you know what I mean? And you're, you're, dude, it's like, what do we come, what is this, what's going on, man? You're locked up and this is what you're dealing with. In prison. It's already bad enough you're locked up. Yeah. Yeah. God. It, it's, uh, it's, not, it's, it's not cool. Oh man, this I don't know, man. It, it's and you know I already know like women's prison is you know I've been to some women. I know it's rough. It's already because of just like how the, the how the women do their time differently than men. And you, you can yeah. only imagine, like you said, you got a you know someone who says you know they're they're trans and then they're in there and then what they're taking advantage why they're in there. Yeah, you're right. Different, different, and females are all different, right? You could have a, a probably have a female enemy like, oh hell yeah, bring the dudes, bring bring the men, let's yeah. have some, let's have a party. But what about the ones that are not on board with that? And they're being housed in dorms, from what I'm hearing, dorms like bunk beds, yeah, gyms, yeah. Set, six six people dorms. Uh, imagine, imagine being you're not on board with that, you're not cool. Now you're afraid because physically wise, um, predatorial wise, you got this person sleeping next to you. And you shower in there in the same area. It's just like, you know, it's like, dude, what, what does that make? You're talking about your friend. What about the people who, what, what about them? What about the women's rights? And, and as far as the officer, like, I've never been an officer in that position, yeah. right? But I can only imagine they can't speak out. For, they cannot speak out. And they're only going to do what's within their, right? Like, what's within their, uh, they're not going to do anything extra or unextra to try to rectify the situation because it's out of their hands. Oh, they can only work within the limits of their policy. And if this is the new policy, then that's what's going on. And I think America should know, let alone the, the California. They, this is what's happening in California prisons. We pay taxes. Yeah, we pay taxes, man. <laughs> I mean, just to, just to think that, like you said, you got somebody running around. It's really biologically a man up in there and they're, you know, getting off on whatever they're doing. And this is like... Dude, it's like, man, it's already bad enough. It's like, I don't know, man. And in California, man, they, they, they trailblaze with all this crazy shit, man. I mean, let alone sending a person from from the pen to Beverly Hills to get a surgery, then come back and say, I'm going to, you know, make my money off of this and, and let everybody bust these cheeks. God, oh, man. Woo, you guys, leave a comment, man. Come on, we want to hear some, we're going to hear some voices out there. And, um... Tune in, man. Big Herc 916, fresh out, man. Hector Bravo, man. You tired of smelling like stinky butt, funky armpits? Wash your ass. Go to freshoutseries.com and pick you up a bar of soap.